Good evening, YouTube. Tonight is Thursday, October 6th, 2011. And for tonight's vlog, I am going to be discussing and remembering Steve Jobs. And I'm sure many of you have already heard the news that he, of his unfortunate passing after having cancer. And I'd like to say a little bit about Apple and me and my thoughts on Apple and my thoughts about Steve Jobs and from what little I know about him and you know the history of founding Apple and stuff like that. So I'm 25 and I've been using computers since I was three years old and when I was about I want to say about six or seven the school I was using um, gave me a computer to use, which was an Apple IIgs. And back in the day, it was a very good computer, and I'm just, by today's standards, it's probably incredibly antiquated, but it was a great computer, and it was very simple to use, and I really just thought it was awesome and neat, and... I mean, at the time. And th that was really my first exposure to Apple products. And when I was in junior high, which was about 10 years ago, we used iMacs. And once again, I thought iMacs were really neat computers. And I just thought they were really good computers and they did their purpose very well for doing things like word processing and we did um we played uh, sim city on them and it was my first school exposure to the internet but you know in those days it was like you know we were moving from 56k to uh satellite internet at home and I don't know if they still use this anymore, but we were using a T1 line in school back in the day, which was uh, pretty interesting because sometimes it would really slow up. And also, I also we used Apple IIe's, and we also used these little portable computers called Alpha Smarts, which were just awesome for just you know personal compute for just uh. Word processes, word processing, typing out um, things, and then you were able to, we were able to send them via wireless connection, typing out, you know, projects and whatnot. We were able to send them via wireless connection to the uh, printers. So they were really neat machines. And then my uh, exposure to Apple continued. In this was about 2006, my Windows machine at home had kind of pooped out. Um, it the motherboard, the power supply died, and then I found out the motherboard just kind of pooped out after that. So my sister let me borrow her computer, which was a uh, iBook, and now they're called MacBooks, but iBook. And that was my first exposure to iTunes, and that was my first exposure to Safari. And I thought they, Safari was a great browser, and I still use Safari. Um, and iTunes is a great program. I've had some issues with iTunes, but they were just simple issues that could, that were just fixed by just Googling the problem and just following the steps, and it works, and... I mean, you know, there's two, you know, there's a lot of people that hate Apple. I don't, I don't hate Apple. I'm honestly, if anything else, I like Apple products. I have an iPod now. I use Safari. I don't hate Apple. And honestly, I have, I have a Windows machine because honestly, that's pretty much all I've been using at home since I was like about maybe five or six years old, my first computer that we had um, in my household 
was an IBM PS2. Now that was a really old technology by today's standards, but obviously in like the early 90s it was like top of the line. And, you know, I, you know, admittedly, Apple products are, as far as like their computers go, are like more expensive than a PC, depending on like, depending on what you get. I mean, I had a girlfriend once whose brother had a $3,000 MacBook, and, you know, honestly, I could never want to spend $3,000 on a computer, but I could never justify it to myself. But, you know, if anybody else wants to spend 3000 bucks on a computer, that's their business. And, you know, like I said, I've been using Mac, Mac and Apple computers since the early 90s in one form or another. I've been I have an iPod I've had it for almost a year which I absolutely love my iPod it's an iPod touch it's really awesome and as far as you know as far as Apple is concerned I think they're a great company um like I said I you know some of their products I I wouldn't get like for example I have an iPod Touch, which is iPhone without the phone, and if I didn't have my iPod Touch, I would most certainly get an iPhone because I think iPhones are really neat devices. I uh, I uh, was um, I don't want to I don't want to say playing around, but I was um, checking out a friend's iPhone 4. He he was an early adopter of the iPhone 4 at Verizon. And it's a really sweet phone. Um, so, you know, and as far as, you know, I'm just really, you know, I've heard some bad things about Steve Jobs over the years. About, you know, how he treats his employees and whatnot. But, you gotta, I have to give my utmost respect to the man for completely living the American dream. He started Apple out of a garage in California and turns it into this great company. And the, you know his products are used all over the world, the world over. So, so my message is: rest in peace, Steve Jobs. Thank you for creating an awesome company that makes awesome computers, awesome software, and. You revolutionized the MP3 player. You will be missed. And. And, um. I will. Most definitely think of Apple as a great company. And I will continue to. Hopefully, I'll be buying more Apple products in the future. I'd like to maybe get an. Maybe like to get a MacBook myself someday. Or maybe an. Or maybe an iMac. Because. Well, maybe not an iMac, would have, um, a, a, a Mac computer, because I've used Mac computers, and honestly, they, um, they work very, they work very well, so, so yeah, that's my thoughts on, that's my thoughts on Steve Jobs. Thanks for watching.